If you're just starting out with your very first Google Ads campaign, there's something you need to hear before you even click create. Google has made it incredibly easy to set up campaigns these days with all their automation. And while that's wonderful for getting started, it also means some of the crucial details about how Google Ads truly operates can get overlooked. If we don't understand these core concepts, it's really easy to end up spending money without seeing the results you hoped for. And every marketing dollar counts, so let's make sure you spend yours wisely. So how does Google decide which ads show up first? It's all about something called ad rank. This score determines where your ad appears on the search results page, or if it shows up at all. Ad rank is calculated by multiplying your quality score by your maximum bid. Quality score itself is based on three things. The user experience on your landing page, how relevant your ad is to the keywords, and your expected click-through rate. So even if someone bids more than you, your ad can still rank higher if your quality score is better. For example, an ad with a score of 10 and a $2 bid has an ad rank of 20, higher than someone bidding $8 with a score of 1. That means smart, high-quality ads can beat big budgets. Focus on creating relevant ads, targeting the right keywords, and improving your landing page, and you'll save money while climbing to the top of Google's results. To set up your first Google Ads campaign, start by creating your account in expert mode for full control. Choose a clear goal, like getting more website visitors or sales. Next, pick your campaign type. Search is best for beginners. Then set your location, language, and add relevant keywords your audience is searching for. Choose a bidding strategy like maximize clicks or target CPA, then set your daily budget. Now write your ad using short, clear headlines, a helpful description, and a strong call to action like shop now. Finally, add extensions like site links or a phone number to boost clicks, then launch your campaign and wait for approval. This platform is essential because its AI tools, like smart bidding, target the right audience with precision. WordStream's 2025 data shows a 7.52% average conversion rate, with sectors like automotive hitting 14.67%. Dynamic remarketing keeps your brand alive by showing personalized ads to past visitors, like reminding them of a product they viewed. A cafe owner named Mia re-engaged cart abandoners this way, recovering 15% of lost orders. AI stretches your budget, ensuring every dollar delivers. Integrating with analytics and tag management tools takes your ads further. The analytics platform tracks customer actions, purchases, browsing, or exits, showing which campaigns work best. The tag manager makes adding tracking codes easy, no coding required. For Magento, two stores, conversion tracking is a must. MGT Commerce outlines setting up a conversion action, adding the tracking code to your store's head section, and verifying it. Extensions like MagePal use customer data, like emails, to improve accuracy. A Magento retailer optimized campaigns this way, reducing acquisition costs by 20%. Testing tags in preview mode keeps your data sharp refining your strategy for better results. Don't fall into the common traps. Avoid overly broad or ultra niche targeting. Don't forget to use negative keywords. Make sure your landing pages are mobile friendly and built to convert. And most importantly, keep checking your performance and testing new ideas. If you're serious about growing your business online in 2025, Google Ads is a must know skill. Ready to create your first campaign with Google Ads? Hit that like button, subscribe for more tips.